Sometimes you can think you're in love, yeah? Have you been in love, Hayla? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> My voice went high. Man made me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you know. Bro. And then a, a few days ago, I'm pretty sure it was him, a lot, a lot like him. I was walking through Shepherd's Bush and yeah. then one, literally on the main road, one of the little side roads, there was like filming going on. And then I looked at the guy sitting down and it just looked, does he have a tat on his face? Skepta. Like, Skepta. Yeah, or like on his on his neck or something. I think on his on his neck. Uh, I think definitely not his face. Or the a plaster or, some, or something was on his face. Or maybe it was just for the filming. Probably a maybe it was Nelly. Just, <laughs> <laughs> it was just for the Yeah, filming. what was that all about back in the day? But it was definitely random him. plasters on. It was on definitely him. That. That's yeah. sick. Skepta, in my opinion, is a charming lad still. Good handsome fella. What yeah, yeah. I, I saw Skepta live in 2018. Have you seen bang when he bangs the uh, the punching bag? The thing? Ibiza thing. Fuck you know, bro. Or was it Mallorca? Wherever it's it was. Big hit, it was, you know. It was sick. Yeah. Big big hit. But anyway, go on. What What's did you that? Want to say about the uh, the video? The video yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, so basically, yeah. Um, obviously, you might have seen the video, but uh, of um, Nicki Minaj's ex Safari, of yeah. him casually getting. What kind told. of name is that, by the way? What, Safari. Safari. Is that a what? tag? Yeah, I'm assuming so. Oh. I, I'll be honest with you. I don't really know much about him. All I know is he is Nicki Minaj's ex. That's Before th- Meek Mill. Yeah, but he he was like with Nicki as she was like the, the whole oh, the come up. pink days and all that shit, whatever it is. Barbie and that. Young Money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YMCNB days. Oh, those were some sick days, man. I swear yeah, down. Bedrock. And um, bro, that video <laughs> spun me. Oh, yeah, if I send it to you, can you crop it into this video? No. You're going to have to. Please, I really want these up to see no, it, man. Probably not. Trying it because if I do that, then I'm gonna have to do it for the audio as well for Spotify. That's why they're just gonna listen to a three minute video. No, and no, plus no, 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 not the whole thing, not the whole thing. We'll see. All right, cool, cool. We'll put a link or something then we'll see. because you these don't need to see. Look how lazy this fucking guys. But yo, that video was hilarious, man. I'm not gonna lie. Imagine getting told, yo, by your missus, I'm pregnant, I'm five and a half months pregnant, mm. and I beg you, uh, tell them what he done. Bro, the, the the link will be there, innit? But he just took off in a fucking, I was about to say, jet ski. What are they called? Quad, quad bike. Quad bike. Yeah. yeah, but he wheelied off in a quad bike, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, man wheelied off, bro. No, but it wasn't like, it's not needed. You gotta say that he was, he no, was do you know what it is as well? He was angry. It was, mid, it was, it was mid-convo, the way yeah. he stood up as well. Yeah. Like, she's just talking to him and he just stands up and he's like car- carrying on the conversation and then he just walks away. I'm thinking, what's he about to do? There's 10 seconds left of the video. <laughs> Just <laughs> up, up is gonna drop back. Yeah, so he just stayed there. He just stayed oh, there. Oh no, that well, I rate him. Yeah, that's mad. What are you doing if your missus tells you she's pregnant? Yeah, but well, it depends on the situation. Context, Obviously, yeah, yeah. he yeah. was surprised, didn't it? Yeah, he like, was first. The thing three is, months of a relationship. You're not. Yeah, like not. not first married. kid. Yeah, yeah. Three months of a relationship. Yeah. yeah, then that's that's a bit crazy. It's a bit sudden. It's a bit. I don't know. I I wouldn't know what to say. I wouldn't be like gassed scary because it's scary a kid coming into yeah, the world because it's scary like we're not we're That's probably not ready three months into a relationship um bro i'm just getting scared i wouldn't know in that bro. situation yeah Walla. Walla, that's a scary, but the thing scary. is context obviously means everything like his his situation if you if you like watch the video he seemed like from the start he didn't want a baby mm. because he even mm. said apparently it was a second yeah but she even says like oh we've gotten closer ever since we had our child or whatever and then she's like um and then she's like yeah over the last year and he was like yeah it's been a tough year like he was saying that the baby made it very very difficult yeah mm. and then she's basically there saying that she's got exciting news but you can just tell that he knows what's coming yeah and that he didn't want one <laughs> in the first place that the baby was just like too difficult for them yeah how was the second baby gonna help Big responsibility, man. You Bring know when this, when a yeah? baby comes into the world, like mm. that's it. Your whole life has changed. <laughs> right, on the way here, he literally just posted this. He he just made a diss track. Who's Safari? About who? <laughs> About his baby mom. Right, get this guy off my screen, man. Some weird old bro. No, but listen, they, they they live weird lives, man. Like, honestly, bro, imagine. That's fucked. Imagine. That's bro, actually really messed up. Imagine your. Like your whole life can never be the same, bro. Even your marriage. What's that? Like when you have a youth. Yeah. Like your marriage will never be the same, bro. Like you won't have time for each other like that anymore. Let's be honest, the intimacy level is gonna go down. Down, bro. I feel like you're making it sound too negative. Yeah, though. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah. though, bro. No, bro, I think you're making it sound a bit Nah, it's too not negative, negative, bro. It's a blessing, man. No, because it's a blessing, it's but like your life, this will alright, this will change to say, dramatically. Yeah? No, no, no. Your life no, it doesn't even change dramatically. You stop living for yourself. I feel like you start living for the child. 
Mm, but isn't that a life cycle? That's what. True. That's, that's what but then again, I get, I get what you mean. But it is kind of like, like, bro, everything you have to do. Yeah. Like you can't just leave the child there and do your thing. You can't. Cool. But then again, but at the why same would time, you want to do that? Like, no. let's say I want to wake up and go to the gym, bro. Oh, who's looking after the kid today? True. No, but at the same time, I was I was gonna say that. <laughs> like, let's say long. let's say you had a missus, and she got pregnant. Um, sorry, sorry, forget the pregnancy. Let's say, would you not want a baby though? Yeah, but not immediately. Yeah, not immediately. But that's what I'm saying. Like in the future, mm. it's possibly gonna happen. It's yeah. just whether you're ready or not. Yeah. So once you are ready, then those things are not gonna be a burden. Like they're gonna be stuff that you're prepared for anyway. No, I feel I feel like it will still still be a burden. It will, but not It'll in the sacrifice. negative sense that are oh, like. Nah, no, burden's the wrong happen. word. Sacrifice is the right word, because burden has a negative um, connotation yeah. to it. Yeah, but uh, I, bro, I'm just trying to be realistic. And like I've spoken to parents, and they're just like. Bruv, it's hard, man. They just aren't like, unprepared, tough. and I'll be honest with you, man. It's tough. Nah, man, that's unfair. No, no, that's no. Yeah, I think unfair. I think that is kind of unfair. That's like unfair you could you could say that, but then again, it depends no, on like, the situation. No, no. Like, if you're having a you, bro, there are times where like your mom, probably your sister, no, no, like, that's people like bro. They they want to live their life. No, bro, no, no, like, no. They're no, not course, ready course, for it. But like, to say like the word burden, I think that's a bit deep. No, that was me. I just used the wrong terminology. No, I still think it can be a burden, man. Like your your child is it's a burden, bro. Like it can, but then it comes with negative and positive. Like yes, it's a blessing. But it's a massive, massive sacrifice, bro. Like, you can't do anything, bro. Everything is gonna go up in cost. Your, your, your time for yourself is gonna go down. You won't be able to have like dates like that anymore. Like, bro, you sacrifice literally everything. Sacrifice, yeah. I like that word better. That's, do you know what I'm saying? It's getting technical now, but like, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, like, yeah. it's, I don't know, man. What just, age? Seems... What age in an ideal world would you want to start a family? <sighs> Obviously, God's plan, and inshallah, yeah. God knows best in that. I think. Sorry to no, no, interrupt, but I think. It's not age. It's just time. Time, like the where situation you are in, your life. You're in, where yeah, you are yeah, in that's life. That's true. That's true. Because then asking, asking, um, what age would you want a child? You can ask someone that's already like that's very early, like early, very young, um, that's successful. They've got money. They've got the. They've got the time and everything to have a baby. But someone who's older just just doesn't have that. So I don't think the age thing really could matters. Really be yeah, asked. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. I think for me, as long as I'm. As long as I can say that I've lived with my missus, mm. like lived life with my missus, and now I'm ready to make that sacrifice and whatever, yeah. have a Take child. Take that next step. Yeah, then yeah, maybe. Yeah, but yeah. I would like, for me personally, I couldn't do a one year thing, two years into a relationship, maybe even three years into a relationship and then have a child. Mm, I yeah, think for mm. me, it would be like a five year thing. Mm. We go, we travel, we do whatever we want without no responsibility, yeah, just me and yeah. her. And then you can start yeah, looking at like yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, no, nah, I I agree with that. I think that's probably the best way, especially yeah. nowadays. I'm noticing the trend of like a lot of youngsters are getting married. Like yeah. you know, pe- the people who are there in their early twenties are getting married compared to like maybe like five six years oh, ago. Mashallah. That wasn't really happening. I'll be honest with you, man. Yeah. But nowadays it is, mashallah, like quite common. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. wanted to ask though, when you lot were younger, mm. did you want to be young dads? Hundred percent. Yeah. I wanted to be twenty three um, and have a kid. Yeah. I wasn't. Okay, not that young. Not that young. No, I can't like I w- the age I want. Like I wanted to have a kid like twenty one. I swear. Yeah. I, just I wanted swear. to be a proper young yeah. dad. Yeah. I was like, oh, bro, but now that I'm older, teaching 21, football. Bro. Yeah. What but now that I'm you older, to older to have a kid at that age? I don't know, man. I was just teaching I just football, wanted to be a young be a dad. Cool yeah. Dad, to football, blah, blah. like just a cool dad kind of thing. Like I didn't want to be like sometimes I think like. I don't know. Like you get you experience like certain parents that like are much older than their kids or like. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, like, I get you. Like, the the age gap so yeah. big that. Yeah, like, yeah, I didn't want to. I don't. I didn't want to be like that. I but want to it be seems like friends. Like, it seems. Mm. Yeah, it mm. seems like it's getting to that. Yeah. To be fair, thinking about thinking about it, my mom had me at, I think, like, twenty two or three. Yeah. yeah. And you know. It's so like with mine. My mom had my siblings, like my obviously the oldest, my sister. I think she was twenty one, and then she had me. Mm-hmm. Twelve years later, do you get it? So like. Yeah. Oh, so you yeah. got quite Same a big gap. Same as me still. Yeah, between me and my sister, yeah. Six. I think my mum had me when she was like 38, bro. Yeah. Big age. That is a big age. Yeah. Yeah. And my pop still wanted another one. Marshall She's like, like relax. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, so I've got a massive age gap between my kids. So maybe that's why I was like, oh, like, me and my pops, we never really done a lot together. Mm. Like, didn't really take me football. Like, he didn't He didn't care about these things. Whereas I wanted that with my you, innit? Mm. But now... He can chill, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I said he's not, he's, he's not even Inshallah, here. I do want a boy, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, of course, I can't cap. Of I want a girl. 100% I want a yeah. girl. Want but you know what it is? Yeah. I want a boy so badly mm. that I just want to get him over and done with. Like, let, Just give me the boy. Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. Just give me the boy. Let me Sorry. like let me know that I've crossed him off. And then like, let me get a girl I as said well. checklist vibes. Yeah. What about you? Do, you? do you care about... Sorry, go on. 
No, no I, just, I want both. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I want both. Oh, and then mm. the girl, you mean? As in you but I just care. want the boy first, so yeah. I don't have I'm to. to think. Oh, you want the boy first? I want the boy first. I don't. Because you know them dads that want girl that want a boy so badly, yeah. and then they have like five girls, and they keep trying yeah, for the yeah. boy. Have you seen that? F- there's a family on TikTok. I don't want to be like <laughs> that, bro. Do you get there's me? Like, a family on TikTok. Like, have you seen that trend on TikTok? Where like it, it it will show one person and then they'll start walking off and then the people will follow generations something. and generation. Yeah. But then oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. There was a dad and then um <laughs> he walked off and then five girls yeah. or I think five or six mm. and like it was something about like oh when when you've always wanted a boy but it's not, it hasn't worked <laughs> yeah, out and then yeah, the dad yeah. walks off and it's yeah. like five of the sisters. But with me, I feel like I won't stop until I get a boy. That's what I'm but saying. I would love to have girls. Do you get? It? Speaking of that, you know, you was asking what what would I what yeah, would my what preference would be, um. I heard from uh, I don't know who I heard it from, but I heard when you have a um, have a daughter, when you have a baby girl uh, in your household, apparently the blessings are like second oh. to none. Like apparently, it's, it's a not trying to say there's more blessings in a girl than mm. from having a, um, mm. a a boy. Sorry, but I just heard like the blessings and and you know just the good stuff that God mm. gives you mm. from when you have a a, a girl uh, as your as your child. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, no, I, I do want to go. Yeah, but inshallah. Like I said, inshallah. But I do. I just want a boy. Bro. Do you have a number of kids in mind, like max? <laughs> Two, three, max. Yeah. What would you say? Yeah, I was gonna say you just want your um, <laughs> project in Mbappe. Hundred percent. Yeah. I'm putting my kid in. Do you, have a, do you have a number of kids in mind, like max? I was gonna say as well, two, three. But then again, yeah. If I have three girls, I'm not stopping. I until swear. I get a boy. Yeah. Like what about nine girls? You got now? Yeah, then <laughs> women's football team. What? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> now, adoption is something that um, you know. I really want to do a lot, a lot, of, a lot of blessings that come your way as yeah. well. Um, I don't mind do sponsoring, that. sponsoring. Yeah, well. yeah. Adopt. Can uh, be see, a bit the thing tricky. with adoption is like, if I'm, I, I say this at twenty five years old. Sorry, yeah. on, on paper it looks amazing. Yeah, that's that's literally yeah. about to say that. Like, <laughs> the idea of it, the concept of it, the whole you know the face value side yeah. of it, it, it sounds and looks amazing. Like, oh, mashallah, like you know adopting and you know basically changing a kid's life mm. for the rest of their life you know yeah. what i'm saying mm. but when you deep it may- maybe i say this because i'm 25 i'm single i, have, I haven't got a wife you know what i mean i'm, I'm a very yeah. like, i'm a very i'm a very solo yeah position in my life right now where my, my main focus is obviously myself and just like what i want to do in it mm. but um i don't know where i'd have to be phys- uh, financially and and most importantly spiritually and mentally for me to be able to consider adoption yeah. I, I wouldn't rule it out, but mm. I'd have to be in a in a really good place to think. Okay, this makes sense. You know what I mean? I wouldn't just casually be like, "Oh, I've got two kids and I'm struggling with them. Let me just adopt now for the sake of it." I, I yeah. wouldn't. I, it would, I don't think it'd be like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's true, man. But we're talking like future, like, future. Yeah, we're talking future, yeah. but it's like you're all thinking about kids. But one thing, but one thing I was thinking of, and you know, taking it onto kind of the main chunk of today's conversation was. You know, we're talking about all these things. Obviously, my man riding off on a quad bike. We're mm. talking about, <laughs> you know, kids and, you know, boys yeah. and girls and all this stuff. And it goes to show, like, would that stuff differ? And would your answers differ depending on, like, whether, like, you're with your soulmate or do you not even believe in soulmates and that? Like, are soulmates a thing, in your opinion? Because <laughs> it's a techie one, isn't it? Are you asking if I believe in soulmates? Well, let's start with that. Do you believe in soulmates? Islamically, yeah, they created you in pairs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but even then, but I, d- I don't think no, that's face value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get it? like I feel like I wanted to say no straight away, by the yeah. way, but I didn't like obviously. No, because Islamically, you know, sorry, Islamically, but like, people will come and say, "Oh, the, we get it on TikTok all the yeah. time." The pure for the pure and the impure, the for, the impure yeah. for the impure. Bro, that's don't take it on face value. Like nothing in the Quran is just face value. You have to dissect it and look mm-hmm. into it, bro. Mm-hmm. Do you get yeah, it? Then no. <laughs> yeah. You? No. Do I believe in soulmates? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. Mm. Yeah, because I think you're gonna have to get on your knees and graft for it to work. I don't think in this. I don't believe in this fruit, the, the fruitful, f- colorful yeah. mm. the thing relationship. Is you can look at there's certain relationships that you see that you're like, yeah, these are yeah soulmates. they're meant for each yeah, other. Yeah, but you you say they're mm. soulmates, but are they really soulmates? But then again, like they're meant for each other. Do you get it? Like, but then there's others That's, that that brings me on to mine. I I don't. Th- I don't personally believe in soulmates like that. Like, as in, how many people in the world? Eight billion. Something Such like that. Yeah, obviously, half, yeah. Well, no, more than half are women, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I think less than half. No, more than half. I think majority is men. Majority is women. E- I don't even know. I would assume. I would assume five or right now. No, I'm pretty sure majority is women. All right, cool. I couldn't. If even it's not that, then it's one of the signs of Judgment Day. 
The thing is, more, today, more, bro. more women Mashallah. than men. Mashallah. Mashallah. <laughs> Sheikh Jad the third. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, nah, like, who was the second and first? <laughs> I've you know, spoken to your pops, you know, he's a, he's a religious man, man, mashallah. Came through. Um, I think, and I, I've said this to you before as well, yeah. Mm. You know, with Mandem, and I don't, I don't think girls will, can, will be able to relate to this. And this may get taken, I may get cancelled again, like I did earlier this year, yeah. Mm. But I feel like, you know, with boys and just men in general, I think the way we're designed as humans, yeah, like we're able to make someone fit the position, mm. if that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw where this was going. I can imagine him getting flamed already. <laughs> it's cool. No, Bro, I, mean, I don't. Okay, shall, shall I explain? Yeah, go on. Okay, so you know the whole concept of a soulmate is throughout all, everyone in the world, everyone in this dunya, mm. there's one and one only specific person oh, no. that was made for me and me only, right? No, I don't believe that. That's no, my saying point. The concept of, but like, I do believe, I do believe you can essentially shape someone to fill that position. Shape in a sense, or I don't want people to start saying, oh, hey, don't want to be controlling, typical Asian guy, fuck that. What I'm trying to say is, <laughs> like, you know how these people can be in the comment section, innit? Mm. Like, you can meet someone that has the fundamental values that you look for in a spouse. You know, she she's from this country, she's from this religion, she's from this sect, she believes this, that, and the other, and our families can get along. These mm. are probably, like, the five main key components that bring two people together, right? Mm. But then from there onwards, then when you look in the look into the details and the specifics. Nitty gritty. Yeah, the nitty gritty. Ooh, I like that word. Come on, man. I ain't heard it in a while. Cool uh, mom, my mum uses that sometimes. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Big every now and then. Uh, big up mumsy. Shout out to everyone's mums. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's just like the specifics, the, like, oh, what career does, sh- does she uh, want to pursue? What's her take on, I don't know, the headscarf? How many kids does she want to have? Um, you know, what's, um, what's her preference on you know, working or staying at home, you know, all what, these what things. And I feel like, obviously, these are things that you, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> what team does she what support? Does she yeah, support? What team does she, sorry, I was in my element, innit? But yeah, man, I feel, I feel like you can genuinely, yeah. like, kind of shape someone to, of to be a better fit than, oh, I met her today and she's 100% the, that's it. That I don't need to change exist. anything that about her exist. and she doesn't need to change anything about me. Isn't that what, like, love at first sight? Do you believe in that? Festival. Fuck that! Mm. Man. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah. Love nah. at first sight, but people believe in I it, man. Understand, 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 understand that, bro. But I don't I know. Said love at but first sight. That's what I'm talking about like, this before. There's some stuff. Lust people... at first sight exists. Yeah. Love at first sight. Love at first sight. You can't say that, bro. Yeah. See, I loved you. Ever okay, since you know what? Let me, let me, let me take it on a tangent. That's some fucking. I've loved. Would you say you've ever been in love or experienced love? Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you? Yeah. See, the thing is. Such a waste, man. <laughs> what did he say? What? They just <laughs> laughed for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pink shirt. When he's wearing pink, yeah, he's, he's mad. Dude. Up. <laughs> now, but no. the point I'm trying to make is like, see, love. Sometimes you can think you're in love, yeah? Have you been in love, Hayda? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> My voice went high. Man made me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you, know, you know that was it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, oh, like, shit. I think I have. Yeah. But then it's like, Obviously, for whatever reasons, if it didn't didn't go the way I wanted it to go, you know, I fucking tr- <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to drink, man. Oh um, my god, you're man a turned all giddy. <laughs> yeah, this guy. You know that's how I normally speak, and he just made it worse yeah, than yeah. it really is. <laughs> yeah, go Legend, on. What a guy. Um, oh. I don't know, man. Sometimes you can think you're feeling something, mm. but in real in reality, like when you look back, when maybe a situation ended, or you may, you may not be on as good terms with that person as you once were. Mm. You what may did think, I see in them? Y- no, not even what did I see in them, but more That's like, wait, now now that I'm not now that I'm not in that same position with that person where I'm feeling those things on a daily basis, it's like, was it love then? Or did I just really enjoy their company? Well, of course, you start you thinking know? with emotions when you're in the position. Yeah, bro, yeah. And then when you drag yourself out of it, you're like, I've been in that situation before where I've had like feelings for a girl. Yeah. And then it hasn't worked out for whatever reason. And I look back at it, I'm like, bro, what was I even thinking? Trust bro? me, yeah. So yeah. your mind can be, and, I, and I've said this before. That's scary though. Bro, I feel it's like so if, you lock, scary. if you lock yourself in a room, for example, with yeah, a you girl said this, so yeah, yeah. That you, that's not really your type, eventually you will gravitate towards her, bro. Yeah. Because it's just in us to mate, to want to recreate, to want mm-hmm. to... Like it's be in intimate, us to find, intimate, yeah, yeah. To, to be intimate, bro. Like, so it's one of our like instincts. So mm-hmm, I feel mm-hmm. like there, there's no way, bro. No one mm-hmm. on this planet can tell me that they met someone yeah. and no sacrifices were made. They were exactly what they were looking for. And if someone does come up and say that, 
well done there's 8 billion people in the world surely there must be one couple that maybe fit like that mm-hmm. but I, I genuinely don't believe there is a couple like that because people say these types of things when they haven't been in relationships themselves oh mate you know people who give relationship advice you know I've re- realised yeah. it's always virgins that talk the most yeah <laughs> no I'm joking <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about virgin oh. mentality you get it like I'm not saying being a virgin or not you, <laughs> wait what did you say <laughs> what did I say you just said something just before oh, I can't remember bro. Oh, you asked a question or you said something <laughs> about um have you ever been in love no 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 or just, literally just, just now just now just before he oh, said the no, virgin bro. bit no. yeah i just feel like they sp- <sighs> like people like who haven't experienced a real proper relationship yeah the ups and the downs. will have yeah. those how could you do this and how could you ever look at another girl and how could you ever look at another man and if my man was to ever if my man, oh my god you've never been in a relationship yeah, shut up brother yeah, like, you don't me. know these things oh the guy who that you give relationship advice yeah, yeah, yeah talking about that yeah, yeah, yeah. i used to be that Wallah. What give relationship advice, but not actually, but not being a, in a relationship. But I wasn't an annoying type where I was just like, Leave him, yeah, you deserve better. Not. Yeah, but I used right to, like that, well, like, if that was me, I would never have it. <laughs> but get out here, man. I can't remember how I was. So but I used to, I, I'm that. not gonna lie, I was that person that like people would come to me for advice, but they would come to me, I wouldn't be like, Yo, but I was like that as well. I won't lie to you, yeah, this is what you need to be doing. I, well, I wouldn't for that. They have they come to me, they ask, and then what I did you say? What did you say? I said, I was that guy as well, but you're wet for that. But you were that guy. Yeah, yeah, that means you're waiting for that as well. Then. No, no, no. It applies differently. But I, I do agree because I wasn't in a relationship for a very I'm long bro, time. Bro, I don't take anything. Double standards. Seriously. And um, yeah, I was, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was exactly that guy. You're yeah. for that. Like yeah. people would come up to me, or like a girl would come now, up. Now you to know me. what? Can I, can my, I interrupt my, you, please? No. And uh, <laughs> no, I'm gonna compliment <laughs> no, I'm you. I'm joking. I'm joking. Mashallah. You know what? I, I can't lie. This guy gives sick advice, bro. Thank Mashallah. You. Yeah, but like that's probably now because I'm yeah, well yeah, yeah. I only met you like two years ago. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Well learned. Yeah. He you went see to what he once. He, I said that and he went. Yeah, he's, well, he started doing the uh, Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> yeah, trust me, that's it. Say Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah. No. <laughs> so why did you ask me for advice before they started rolling? Ooh, okay, I'm involved. then I'm involved. don't try to do that, Jad. I'll drag you. you know? Yeah, that's why I did this because the vi- advice was midi. So midi. Which way I get to you, Allah? <laughs> um, but yeah, I was that type to give advice like what. He treated you like that. You should never have it. You should. You yeah. should never have yeah. that. I never. Have <laughs> it. Never. But I never did that. Yeah, I never did that. <laughs> but you know, looking so back at it, <laughs> like uh, it wasn't even that deep, bruv. Mm, do you get me? Mm, Maybe mm. I was just being a waste man. But yeah, man. Uh, soulmates, in my opinion, do not exist. I think uh, until you can actually relate to a certain situation and you're in that situation and you know you've been then in you're those able shoes, to give advice. Then you're like, raw. Like, but let me I'm, ask you this. I'm but here even now, that, like, even yeah, hundred percent. But let me ask you this, yeah. How long do you give a relationship? Mm-hmm. Like, how much do you work on a relationship even <laughs> when it's not working? Does that make sense? So even when it's not working, it's not really going in the right direction. How much effort and time do you put into it? To Because I do believe you can fix it. Like you were saying, you can mould each other, yeah, each other into, yeah, yeah. into a perfect couple. Well, yeah. Not perfect, but close to it or yeah, yeah. whatever, on the route to it. Mm. But a lot of people will give up way too easily. Like yeah. in the first two months, any type of, not even two months, because that's always the honeymoon phase. Like, let's say in the first six months, Anything that arises, no, I don't think we're meant for each other. Like, mm. do you get it? So the question is, how long would I give it? Like, how long would you give it and try and iron it out before? Really, really, and truly, bro, it depends. It, it's not so much on the length of the time. Um, of the, oh, sorry, the length of the relationship. Mm. But it's for me. This is just me personally. I don't know if you man are gonna agree, but it's more like it depends more on what it is that the problem is. Yeah, if we're constantly disagreeing about the same stuff, and I'm keep on trying to put the same point you know forward over and over again and i'm 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 trying to like validate you know yeah you know her her feelings and i'm trying to make her feel you know as um like accommodated as possible Mm. like nah babe it's not like that this is the situation this is why you're feeling this way and Mm. this is what it really means but like if we're arguing about the same thing you know three months from now six months from now one year from now and Mm. we're both just not moving forward then that's probably more of an indication rather than Oh, it's been three months and you're still crying about it. Fuck mm. this. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm not the kind of person. Like with me, when I commit to something or when I commit to someone, like I'm a, and I kind of wear this like on my chest. Like I'm quite proud of this. Like, I'm a very like sen- sentimental, like emotional, like person. Not emotional in that way, like like wet or moist. Mm. You might disagree because you always pardon me for that. But like in a sense of if I'm if I'm with a girl and I'm in love with her, mm. like bro, that's it in it, like. I'm going all in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. But would you not say that is to do with time? Then you see how you said that. Over, if you keep arguing about the same stuff, same stuff that yeah. happens over time, though. Yeah. Because then, if it's like if you're arguing about 
about the same things within a within a month. I don't yeah. think that's enough to to say yeah, this is I'm done with this. But yeah, if no, 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 that's that, what I'm saying. I wouldn't say that after like three months. Oh, now fuck this. Yeah, but that's working. what I'm saying. So if it keeps happening like over three months, then six months, and then, then within then a year, year you're yeah. still arguing about the same thing. Yeah, then that is kind of to do with time yeah. though. Because then, because it's not like the first mm. time it arises, you're gonna be like, actually fuck this. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna work. It, I think you'll it, probably give it. A it's something like because then if if that does happen, you're still arguing yeah, about. Yeah, you're like, okay, I see. We've been together for a year. And we're still and falling we're out, still yeah. arguing yeah. about the same thing six mm. months ago, three months ago, nine months ago. Did you get it? like it is kind of a time thing. You're like, yeah, that's it. Like I can't. Cause it's a time thing in, in, in when you word it like that, but it, it wouldn't be a time thing in a sense of like, oh, oh, let me check the calendar. Now we argued about this three months ago. Now yeah, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, it yeah, wouldn't yeah. be like oh, just because it's been this amount, yeah. uh, this yeah. amount of weeks or months or days. Plus or whatever. it depends how big the fingers. Yeah, are. yeah, and 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 obviously like us as young adults, bro, we're growing. Like the opinions I had. At the beginning of Hate Squared, when we started the podcast, sometimes I may come across old clips or old content, and I think, I don't know if I fully agree with what I said there anymore. Mm. And it was only what a year and a half ago. We we grow as adults, we grow as youngsters, man. Do you know what I mean? So people change, people I think change. it is very, it's very circumstantial. Is that the word? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a word? I should say. Hundred percent, bruv. Yeah, man. But I do feel like grind it out and give it time because there is, there can be like, beautiful, beautiful relationships, that develop. Mm -hmm through that nitty gritty phase in it yes like yes, yes try to grind it out bro like i always try to give the advice as well like when someone comes to when someone's in a relationship and they come to me for advice mm -hmm. and they're like oh like we differ on this and we differ on that my 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 like the the advice i give them my advice that i give them is never oh bro that's a red flag Walk yeah away. get rid of them man yeah, yeah i always like yeah. is there ways you can try and fix it mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. is there ways you can look around it or like work around it blah blah because i genuinely do feel mm -hmm. Because that I don't believe in soulmates, that there are multiple people that you're able to, mm -hmm. do you get me, make into, like have a beautiful relationship with. But I yeah. do believe that you are destined maybe for one. I do believe in destiny. Yes, yeah, so just same, because same, Just same. because yeah. I don't want you to get mistaken that because I'm saying you can have relationships with multiple people mm -hmm. that you should just be a slag and just like go no, no, of course not. have relationships Respect with yourself, multiple yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I do feel like yeah. the person you do end up with is destined for you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But if that, am I making sense? You yeah. that could have been someone else. Like it's not too. It's not like it's this person or no one. And I, I feel, feel just I to add to like that, that point. So you're gonna say something? No, no. no. Just to add to that point, uh, and I'm and I, I'm confident that you guys will agree with it. That I think what makes it a tiny bit harder for for us lot as you know young young uh, British Muslims is like because we know it's a tiny bit more harder to date in you know given from the backgrounds we may be from or the culture that we may be from and mm. you know even just let's just be honest we can't ignore the ele elephant in the room like it's not really allowed in it let's, let's just be real despite how liberal you, you know what i'm trying to yeah, say yeah. like when we when we think of not dating, full on no, yeah, like yeah. boyfriend girlfriend is what i mean like yeah, yeah. obviously you know going out of dates touching haram and all that. Relationships. yeah trust yeah. me haram please haram haram. relationships never prosper nothing good comes of haram relationships trust me trust me but the point i'm trying to make is because everyone well practically everyone can agree that it's not something we're supposed to be doing. So everyone tries to find the best and the most righteous way to do something that's wrong. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. I know I shouldn't be doing this, mm. but I'm going to try doing it in the best possible way mm -hmm. so I can keep it as, like I said, as righteous yeah, as yeah, I yeah. can, even though I know it's wrong But that's down. wrong. Do you know why, yeah? Cause What's wrong, sorry? Like, just trying to, like... Justify a wrong. No, like, let me give you this example. Yeah? I saw this tweet the other day. Jad, I don't know if you came across it as well, yeah? He might have. But it was an innocent tweet. I'm sure the, the guy meant no harm with it, yeah? But he was like, oh, bro, I'm such a simp for this girl. Um, She she recommended a Quran app, and I'm listening to Quran through that app, even though I don't need to, so that she gets rewards, yeah? Mm. Oh, blessings. So, <laughs> so this Aww. is when I logged off. <laughs> I'll be honest I thought you going to say something serious Nah I logged off Because I'm like This is the side of Twitter I don't like Like you'll come on this thing Of haram relationships Haram relationships But you're kind of like Not I don't want to say fetish fetishizing or like you're, yeah yeah yeah. You get nah, me? Nah, like, nah, I get you. I get you. You're I get mixing you, the religion with like simp and like flirting and like bro. Wait, so he liked the girl. He likes the girl. Yeah, and she recommended him a Quran app. Quran app. And, and then what did he say? Sorry, he said, "Oh, I don't even need to listen. It. Use yeah. the Quran app, but I'm using it so that she gets rewards." Cute, harmless. I'm um, sure. Yeah, uh, did yeah. You get yeah. It? It's like a catch twenty two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. doing something good. You're gaining yeah. reward for listening to the Quran or whatever, reading yeah. the Quran. But you're you're doing it with the intention to impress a girl. That's what I'm saying. Like you're mixing the two now. I don't know, man. I don't. And and on that, shout out to my man. He's yeah, to yeah. You get me? He's probably like yeah, you get me. All he looks like one of them, man. Um, <laughs> Brian Dundee. <laughs> 
<laughs> Where he looks like one of what, man? Like, you know the man that just start doing stuff like that? You get it? I want to know what them man look like. <laughs> Bro, that's actually <laughs> so rude. It's crazy. Do you get it? Man, say what a dem, man. <laughs> um, it's cute. Harm, harmless, but you get me? I don't know, um, man. That stuff's a bit moist. Yeah, but then, like, people, for example, even the haram relationship stuff, like, oh, haram relationships never lead to something good. And, like, I've seen it happen bad times. Are you God? <laughs> Who are you, bro? Like, well, mm. I've seen so many haram relationships. We start off haram, and they've, they've kids now, and they've <laughs> yeah, and they've they're married, they're halal now, whatever. They've probably paid the price for it. Yeah, of course, of course. Do you get me? But you're not God, bro. Don't like just focus on yourself. And, Obviously, like, the concept I get it. About, apps, I've never bro. really understood that. I that, think um, I think the concept thing. of starting a foundation where it's not blessed by God that makes sense, bro. It makes you know sense. It makes sense. Like Advise we started a business maybe, with fraud money, we can't. We of can't course, then do of a dua of course, on the first of course. Day. No, I get it. It wouldn't make sense. Like, no, don't make dua. Oh, I hope this haram relationship works out and that he pounds me tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, don't what? make dua for that, bro. Do you get it? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Did no. you hear that? Or was that just me? Yeah, I said it. That's mad. I say it with chest. That's nuts. Yeah, bro. I was not expecting you to say that. But I don't care. I'll be honest. No, I rate it, but I wasn't yeah, expecting Yeah, yeah, bro. I you. speak with chest. I'll be honest. Man said pink make the boys what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so do you get it? Don't make dua for that. But Just at the same time, losing it. I wish there was a camera on him right now. But at the same time, <laughs> he's losing. This guy's lost it, bro. Bro, have a, have a drink, bro. Because <laughs> bro, there are people like that, bro. And I'm not telling you, don't. I, like, don't be like I that. did not expect that. Right, I, I lied. That's what I'm bro. saying. I did not expect that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm saying, don't I be really? like that. Yeah, but you I understand. Yeah, I but you understand it. who I'm talking about on the timeline because yeah, there are people like that on the timeline. I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, you know, a few months you told us about the group chat thing. Oh, you told yeah, me yeah, and yeah. Thingy, oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. bro. It, like, oh, yeah, yeah. you man will like, laugh. Can you share it or you don't want to? No, nah, I don't want to. No, listen, don't... listen, social media, it's a crazy it's world, bro. It's, mm, it's, it's a crazy world. So much, what's it called? Not two faced, but like, just people, j- I don't know. It's Fake crazy, personas. Like, yeah, personas. It literally is that, bro. Fake like, personas, it's like choosing bro. a character on a game. Yeah, you choose yeah, what you yeah, want to yeah. show. GTA, like, dress, in person, yeah. Your oh man, let me not talk too much, man. We don't even talk too much. Yeah, let me not talk too much. But yeah, all right, look question would you say you're exactly the same as you are on social media in real life bro i'll take it as far to say i tweet like how i talk yeah uh, I, 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 would, I would agree with that yeah, I, yeah, I because i know you both i can, ju- I can I, judge i can judge you i would like say that. i would say personally yeah like every, yeah. everyone I've I don't ever feel, met I don't feel like a lot of people can say that I think you are as well by the way because when I when you when I call you and you start singing on the phone yeah you sing for the timeline as well yeah. you get it yeah so I think you are the same yeah same, no 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 I, I think I'm, I'm definitely the same yeah. I think I'm, yeah. if anything I can be worse in real life and what's, what's bad what's mad sorry is that you'll get hate what's for being bad? the exact same for being yeah. but man will get celebrated for being different yeah do you yeah, get me yeah, yeah. in yeah, person yeah, he's doing yeah. up oh, Nucci's with a boss today bro. Yeah, he is man he's honest I'm, he's, I'm, I'm he's wearing, wearing a, a top pink. of two pack yeah, no, two pack bro I have two pack on it you said Biggie earlier coming out oh but no that reminds me of a tangent but that reminds me of your tweet I saw a few weeks ago about you was like raw why do bare people show me hate on this app did you see the response yeah yeah you know what I, I saw it and I was like, you know what? Like, I respect whoever it was yeah. to have the actual, yeah. you know, time to write that to you. But I don't know how you felt about bro, it. We don't, no, I, bro, I'm, I don't get offended easily, innit? Yeah. I've been on Twitter for a long time to You're the point where whatever someone says that, it's funny to me. Like, us, it was the other day, you, you were at my house as well. And what was it again? It was to do with, bro, I think I did, you know, the flag, the face? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most random reply, bro, and and I must have just put the Colombian flag. It was Colombian Independence Day, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and Jad if not you Colombian, know me, I love way. I love Colombians in it, so I like to beg. Oh, being I think Colombian. I saw this, but say yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah I think um, I saw it. so I put the Colombian flag, and then me wearing a Colombian top, and I did the flag the face, and then just <laughs> ten minutes later, unprovoked, a quote tweet just ah uh, um. Wait, I want to know exactly how it was worded. So that these Shias are saying? Yeah, something about the our Shias are claiming us now yeah. or oh, something like that. Yeah, and I was, I'm thinking, bro, like I've told her saying this as well, that like, me on Twitter, I'm, I can't like have a normal <laughs> experience on Twitter because a lot of people dislike me for this one reason and I don't know why, but that guy who, who messaged me, by the way, and said all that stuff, we don't speak much, but I rate him so much for saying what he did because he basically... Not the guy who said about the Shia thing. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 not him. Yeah, the one that DM'd me and, clear, and, yeah. and said why people dislike me. Because I agreed with everything he said. It didn't offend well, me. Because you sing and act silly and stuff sometimes. Yeah, acting silly or stuff that people would find less masculine than other guys. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, people yeah, just yeah. afraid to show themselves. Bro, this alpha male shit is, yeah, this is, whole is, alpha is, male is ruining our society. But it's, it's not something that, oh, if someone was to say it to me, I'd get offended. I'm like, bruv, that's me, innit? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, normal. Yeah. And the thing is, a lot of other people like it. Yes, yes, yes. Mostly girls. And mostly girls. 
and why they hate them, it yeah, is because, because girls entertaining it yeah because the they're WCWs entertain- in your mentions and because the girls they like are in my mentions yeah they're feeling a certain type of way and about some it, of them yeah. in my but I, bro, I told you this as well I proper dislike mandem like that man no but I told him this as well if I didn't know him like personally if I didn't know him I would think he's doing it to get girls like all the same. Well, you stuff. know me now. But now I, I know, know you. It's nothing. I can like vouch that, for bro. him and say he's just genuinely like that. Like he's yeah. genuinely wet. Bro. <laughs> 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 no, but bro, it's true. Like I get sometimes that like, people quote him. He's me. just genuinely wet. People quote me and like, oh, this is simping, simping, trying this. Yeah, he's yeah. trying too hard. He's trying too well, hard. Well, like when you're like singing high school musical. And not, stuff. not that. Not even that. Like me talking about my female friends being very attractive and that. But then, like, oh, you got oh, bro, yeah, yeah, I got yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. roasted. Couple, I got absolutely roasted about. Bro, about like, oh, um, he. It's just because he's not getting any pussy so he's he's saying stuff like this <laughs> listen <laughs> but i'm just saying like they don't know shit and, and my female friends know themselves in it that mm. the situation Obviously, hey, I'm not we said this last episode but. about when, when when i presented the question about um would you move to your would you move to a guy if your friend uh, or, or a girl if your friend liked like them, them but they didn't like them back yeah. or whatever and it goes back to to what people think is like the righteous thing mm. to kind of do does that make sense yeah I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Are you saying when you asked them if, if your friend liked a girl and then she ended up liking you, would you do a thing with her? Is that yeah, what you're yeah, asking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but people will just will, will say what they believe to be right, but... Yeah, I think the man just fuck social media, man. Just fuck them, man. No, no, I, I, I just, I just think with, like... Because obviously I know you as well, personally. Obviously not as well as as close as Hussein is with you, uh, mm. to you, but I think, like, it isn't normal or common is a better term to use where someone will, for example casually be making voice notes of them singing or like trying to sing in other languages and interacting like sometimes i see you do like my kind of music like desi music or mm-hmm. like spanish music or old school like jay yeah. shaw and stuff like you did in your stories over there like we're all similar in the sense of like we're all we're all quite silly guys and like you know we're, we're similar in, this, mm-hmm. in in that sense you know what i'm saying we all have yeah. like the same type of interest and whatnot and i feel like because certain men are so sourceless themselves they can't actually fathom the fact that raw like he genuinely is just just having fun on the time, yeah. man. Do you know just, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Do you know why? Because I feel like social media has become such a lu- luxury thing where you only post what you want people to yeah. see. It's you're not like happy. A catalog. You're, yeah, you're not happy with posting stuff that in the future you might look back and, and cringe on mm-hmm. or you, it might not be your best work. Do you get it? So you might post a video, for example, where or I might take a snap. Even me, bro, I'm guilty of it sometimes. But I'll take a snap. It's a hilarious snap, but I look butters in it. Do you get it? Like something has happened, but I look butters in it. I don't want, like, sometimes I think, oh, do I really want to post that? Like, I don't really look Angles, too good. Angles, lighting. So when you yeah. post anything you want, mm-hmm. it's kind of like, raw. why is my man so confident on the timeline like that? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. do you get it? Like, bro, I couldn't post, I, 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 I couldn't post a voice, vo- uh, voice note like that. I've done it once when it first came out. It's the only time I've ever done a voice note uh, thing. It was about Katie Hopkins. Oh, when you said suck your mom? No, I just called her a bag <laughs> Oh, you just spoke. I thought you meant singing. No, no, no. I've never sang like that, bro. <laughs> uh, maybe on Instagram. No, you definitely did on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. The same day. Right. <coughs> and I outshone you. Are you right there, brother? Guys. Yeah, so the I'm going to ask you a mad question. Ready. But please be honest, yeah? And like, think of it properly. Go on. Do you yes. think... Yes. Bismillah said. <laughs> do you, no, no, genuinely. Do you think you know what you want from a girl in a relationship? Yes. No. I, wallah, I could have put money that those, that those were going to be the answers. <laughs> For those hand, hand, listeners, he's, he's trying to... Five, bro. Oh, high five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, bro. Low five. Yeah. Um, Go on, can you explain yourself? Because I'm... Be honest now. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, so, what, so say the question again. Say Do you think you know what you really want in a relationship? What you really want in a girl? Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 sir. Indeed, indeed, yes, indeed. Um, like all the qualities. More time. Anyways, do you know what time. it is, though? More time. Sometimes you don't know until the it's presented to you, and then you're like, ah, oh, shit. I, w- I would want a girl that would react differently in this situation, or I would want a girl that would do this differently. Because um, maybe you haven't experienced certain things, you don't really know yet. But maybe from the things you uh, have experienced, you know. is it almost like I don't know what I fully want because I haven't seen everything available? That's what I'm saying. But um, or you haven't seen. Like you haven't been in certain situations. Yeah, like before, yeah. like even me, like when I was probably younger, if you if you ask me certain questions, I'd be like, oh, I don't really mind if she's like this. I don't really mind if she's like that. Uh, I don't oh, mind if oh. she's got this personality trait. I don't mind if she, for sure. But now I can tell you, no, for black sure, and white, I sure. know what I like. No, hundred percent. The things that I was more lenient lenient with mm. when I was like eighteen, nineteen, are things right now that I, as soon as someone presented that, mm. like 
you know what, fuck it, I'm not even going to do the pre-apology. Even if a girl dresses a certain way and I just know that I wouldn't be able to bring that type of person home, yeah. I wouldn't even entertain it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's just me being so honest. Yeah, yeah. you got time for... All yeah, yeah, thing. and this is another thing I've learned, and this is such a gem. Wallah, I, I wish, what I'm about to say now, I wish someone, someone said to me when I was younger, like, this concept of trying to change someone, one in a hundred people would probably change mm -hmm. for the sake of loving you. If you're out here trying to change, I'm, I'm Pakistani, bro. I'm Muslim, right? I come from a certain family, and just the reality is, bro, there is a certain standard of person that I will, when I eventually do bring someone home for you know marriage or whatever it mm. is if, if, or if i get an arranged marriage like i just know there's certain things that will or will not make the cut do mm. you get me if i go out clubbing and i bring I bring home a girl or start pursuing a girl that <laughs> is you know um she was she wears xyz types of clothes or drink certain things and eat certain things and you know in, indulges in certain types of drugs or whatever it may be mm. there's no judgment to anyone doing this i'm not i'm i'm not perfect i'm not a saint I've, I've sinned in the past as well mm. but it's just i'm at an age now where rather than even thinking well okay yes she's muslim and pakistani and yes she may also be from the same area as me in pakistan or whatever but she may not have other traits that I know my mum or my family won't admire, or frankly, even I won't admire. Mm. So rather than thinking, well, she takes 50% of the checklist, so let me just try changing the other 50%. Yeah. I wouldn't do that now. Yeah. But maybe if I met a girl when I was 20 or 21, maybe it wouldn't have been that deep then. Yeah. Do you get me? Yeah, I get it still. What are you? What was the question? Oh, I'm gonna bang. No, no, no. Do I know you, it was. Do you know was what you what you look what for I in want a girl? In a, in yeah, a girl. What you want in a girl? Do you know what you fully want? Like in terms of no. how? She and you said you assumed that I was gonna say yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I Not because of anything, by the way. I'll tell you why. I'm but curious to know why you're saying no. I'll let you obviously say your point. Because I don't, I don't think I have a clear like thing that I'm looking. But I feel like there's certain things that obviously I'm gonna want. Mm. But then again, I don't, I don't know, like, because I, I don't know why. I want to know why you think I said no. And you don't because want to tell me now about it. No, I'll, I'll tell you why. Because I know, number one, I think you can like various types of girls. That's what I was going to say as well. You can like girls from different nationalities, different religions, different whatever, like different walks of life. Uh, really? life. I no. feel like you could, yeah, I don't think he's yeah. got a set type in that sense. Number two, I think you would, the way you'd answer your question is you'd actually deep it and think about it like fully to the mm -hmm. core and be like, mm -hmm. actually, I don't think I know what I fully want yeah. that's why i emphasized on think about it properly properly yeah. do you get it the thing is you see you see how you said that uh the pakistani thing the muslim thing um mm -hmm. whether she like drinks or like smokes or whatever uh, that stuff like that for you that's a given isn't it like yeah but when it comes when you when you ask me that question yeah that stuff doesn't go through my head mm. okay. i don't think like when I, if i'm speaking to a girl i don't even ask if she's muslim i don't ask if she's lebanese i don't ask if she smokes or drinks and that mm. like it's the connection first and it's like the other first, stuff yeah. the stuff that i'm gonna really like her for that oh, okay, we're gonna okay, get along okay, okay, okay. with you get that other stuff is a bonus mm -hmm. that's if it it but comes then, down to but that then my question but to you so i'll let you finish I'll let you finish no no, no but no. my question to you then is but then again i don't know what your family's like so i can't really comment i can't really make an assumption but my question to you then like w why would you even bother wasting your time pursuing someone that you know you may vibes with as a person but morally and and like spiritually you're not in the same place and never will be the same place why would you put yourself through that heartache and that headache if you know more time it won't work out mm. or even if it could work out between you and that uh, and the girl but your family may not be happy with it then you're going yeah. through the whole struggle of disappointing your parents and making them upset with you yeah uh, like, but then again i don't know your family so that, they, yeah, they may say, genuinely not, not care like you said it does depend on the family i yeah. wouldn't say my family really cares to that extent that okay. much like they're okay, not that cool. strict yeah. fair enough but then. obviously it is it is obviously like a bonus like i said with them do you get like they'd prefer if she wasn't um if sorry if she was muslim if she was lebanese because it just makes it things easier mm. but they're not against the other stuff do you okay, get it? okay but then again like it might be an issue but at the same time like just i don't know man whatever happens, happens. yeah that's mm. true but mm. then at the same time who's to say family's right yeah do you get it because a lot of the times bro like they can be the perfect person on paper, but family, culture, tribe, tribalism, whatever it's called, they just it gets all in the this way. This reminds me, sorry, of that Dave lyric about the Albanian. Yeah, Albanian, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's what I'm saying, bro. Which makes me sad. Rum and Red Bull. Yeah. Culture clash. That's what I'm saying. Like, family's not always right, bro. Like, as much as you might love your mum and dad, yeah. you can admit sometimes they can be wrong. No, they can be wrong. They can be wrong. But, like, for, for instance, would you... So, you, you genuinely wouldn't have a problem pursuing a Christian South American girl, if it made sense in your head? Yeah, because the thing is, though, obviously... That's just an example. Yeah. You could be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I don't think oh. I ever have done that anyway. Yeah. But I'm you just have saying... You have or haven't? I don't think I have. Okay. I'm saying I don't think I have. Well, I, don't, I, I haven't. But I'm saying like, to do it, it's not like the worst thing in my head that it's going to be an issue. Because firstly, like as Muslim men, we're able to marry yeah, yeah, a yeah. Christian female and then unless... They don't have to convert, Correct. right? No. They I don't even have to convert. It's no, no, Jewish, Jewish as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jewish as well. Yeah. Jewish as well. Yeah. But like in that sense that it's not like really the biggest issue. Yeah. So I don't think I would have an issue with um or like a problem with actually pursuing. I learned something new about Jad today. I didn't yeah. I didn't expect that. I don't think it's that yeah. for me it's not it's not it's not. Not saying there's anything wrong with that by the way. Yeah, yeah, that's no, why I, 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 just, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Yeah, no, that's why I predicted he would say Well we didn't even ask you. What? You the question you asked us. Do I know what I want? hundred percent. Yeah, I think I've learned to, but through experience. Through experience, yeah. Through experience, it's not something that before I was like ever, you know, in, in any relationship or whatever, I could hundred percent. I could maybe tell you, oh, I don't like I would want her to be like this, but uh, bro, I was waffling, man. Mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like, don't talk too much. You don't if know you until exp- you've yeah, yeah. That's what experience I'm saying, is the best teacher yeah. in the world, man. So honestly. when you're doing up Twitter fingers, sometimes relax until you actually trust get you, man. That's Smith like when quote, I see. I'm gonna tweet that later, so if you see it, don't get surprised. Then. What? Experience is the best teacher. Come on. Oh, that's a good one. Have it, bro. Yeah. So who said that? Jad said it. So Einstein? Come on, no, 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 man. We, we oh, who said it like, yeah. originally? Mahatma Gandhi. No, I think it was Everyone Jasen. goes straight to Gandhi. Who? Man. Guy Jazam. Guy Jazam. Yeah. Who's the guy that? who discovered Pakistan. Or who made it in an uh, independent state. What's his name? Muhammad Ali Jinnah. He just said Guy Jazam. Oh, but that's that's in Urdu. Muhammad Ali Jinnah. It's his actual name, yeah. Jinnah. Yeah. My guy, you know. Was it Muhammad Ali Jinnah or just Muhammad Jinnah? But yeah. You know Muhammad Ali Klai? Yeah, 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 I went to school with him. Yeah, big up him, man. <laughs> you know who that is? <laughs> Muhammad Ali. Yeah. That's what they call him in, in, in Arabic, I don't know why. What do they call him? Muhammad Ali Clay. Clay, or Clay, whatever it is. Oh, okay. Oh, I was just... Oh, it was, was Cassius, Cassius Clay, Cassius, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense, yeah. That's why I kind of put yeah. it together. Muhammad Ali Clay? Alas. <laughs> <laughs> Watch outside. But yeah, man, yeah, man shout out soulmates. Like, soulmates, shit. No, I'm joking, man. Big up soulmates. <laughs> I don't think it exists. Do you think... Oh, no, no, no. That's gay. Sorry. No. But I saw it as a tweet. And it, and okay, it, say it, bro. It's not do you think you can have soulmate friends? Ooh. That's mm. a good one, you know? I saw it as a tweet and it uh, kind of... Like, well, the fact that I don't believe in soulmates romantically, then I probably yeah. don't agree But with. then it's romantically, though. That's why, like... Mm, mm, yo, yo, yeah, that's a good question, bro. Yeah. That's spun That's me, actually bro. a really good question, G. That spun me. It's what I saw. Well, I do. Whoever but tweeted it, shout, like half an hour ago. shout out to whoever tweeted it, man. But listen, let me say this about friends, yeah. How many people can I actually call? Not friends. to sound, yeah, yeah not to yeah, sound like that shit. Difference between acquaintance and a yeah, friend, but yeah. like, how many people can I genuinely call the call a friend, bro? Like, there are so many people that I'm cool with, mm. but there's some things in them that I despise, and that's why I d- like distance myself from them, innit? So how many people can I genuinely, genuinely yeah. call friends? I think probably like one. <laughs> I'll let you lot decide. No, Which one? <laughs> no, yeah, come outside. No, honestly, <laughs> probably like I'll, I'll probably say a like maximum. This is me stretching it because I don't know the exact yeah. number. Probably ten. Yeah, I was gonna say between five and ten. That's because yeah. I. I'm yeah. actually alone. No, for me, for me. I thought he was gonna say four no. as well. You know. I'm, I'm actually a loner, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it's better. Yeah. Man. And I've yeah. learned to be a loner throughout lockdown. I'd say lockdown I know stuff. a lot of people. Yes, yes, yes. I know a lot, a lot of people, but I wouldn't say like. Yeah. Before yeah, I got friends. before I got to know you like as uh, throughout throughout the month since we met in December last year, I could just tell you're a very popular guy. I could just tell like mm. you're, you were you That's like the, the 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 that guy in school. Yeah. Yeah, I could tell. I'd say Mashallah. not the best looking, but. No, as in like you you were like with the mandem, yeah, the, the yellow, and yeah. like you know yeah I could tell. Mashallah. So that's what that's what I kind of you got that I, I energy. Kinda, you got kinda, that positive um, energy. What's it called? Portray that on social media in a way, but just people just hate it. Mm. <laughs> so like I kept it in the sense that the groups, mm, like mm. with the guys and the girls and all of that, and being popular and knowing everyone and stuff. Popular I kids fell like off though, so I think you done well, man. Mm, mm-hmm. You you maintained Thank it. Thank you. Mm. You done well. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What was I gonna say though? Mm-mm. He used to screw face me when he was walking past me to post you, and I never knew him. 
Shout shit. He used to screw face me. Imagine. He, he was seeing we another better. The same <laughs> he was seeing a better looking guy. We used to work, <laughs> <laughs> we used to work oh, in the same yeah, mall. Close, close, close. And he used to walk past me like a little giraffe and he used to just look at me like this. Did you actually? Yeah. No, I used to look inside always because it was. I was just, just waiting in the front the like. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. You <laughs> know, you, when shop. you two met, did you clock? Well, yeah, I knew who he was, man. I knew who he was for a certain reason. He knew who he was for a Twitter. <laughs> I was popping onto it and I'm joking. Oh, I think I know the reason. Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, I was just thinking but as soon as I saw him, this he... guy's a waste, man. No, but I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know that he would like be like the as open. Yeah, as open as he would have been. He sat with me straight away. This yeah. big, Gee, big, cute man. Sat yeah. on my lap. Must be nice. He loved me, bro. He couldn't get away from me. I said, please. Get away from but me. But now, yeah, just kept singing, kind of on a singing. final note because I know <laughs> we don't want to go too 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 uh, overboard with the time. Yeah. But um, going back to what you're saying about the social media thing and like being popular and portraying the same person you are in real life as you are on social media, yeah. I think like it's happened a few times, especially recently. I even told you about one um, incident that happened probably like a month ago where someone just made the most silliest assumption about me. Or like you know, oh, I'm not gonna say it on camera because I'm I'm not gonna you know do that. But just I just someone just said something so ridiculous about me and it's like wait let me just take a step back and because yeah. they watch they watch hate squared yeah so yeah. big up big up everyone who watches hate squared i got big automatically up, love, love the for man them, them, them all of that yeah but i'm thinking we dropped two episodes nah, a up. month what no nah, I, I, I took a pause to like because i never said big up but big up we we drop what some of them, two two episodes a month that are on average an hour uh long each yeah. That's two hours of content a month. Mm. Maximum if we have a guest like yourself today and we had Reggie on a couple of weeks ago. Hour, hour and a half, Max. Yeah. So let's just round it up to three hours of content a month, yeah? A month has over, depending on how many days, I think a month has over 720 hours, right? Mashallah. Something like that. I could be wrong. <laughs> Some mad if you If you minus three hours from that, so 717 hours remaining of the month that I live off camera, and you've just made an assumption about me based on the two or three hours that are show on camera mm. that's you're just dumb you're just being yeah. so silly you mm. you have there's been times and he'll know because he's one of my closest guys there's been times where on the same <laughs> on the same day we'd be recording uh, that same day i would have gone through like an emotionally yeah, yeah, crazy yeah. thing and i would have been at my lowest point i just grab him before yeah, filming yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey that that we're yeah, gonna yeah, film yeah. in three minutes yeah. you know them ones there but like <laughs> He'll know that because he's my he's my friend and I film with him. Yeah. But as soon as the c camera starts rolling, we get the banter rolling. We get mm. you know the drinks and well, halal drinks of water. You get me? <laughs> we 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 start busting conversation with our with our guest and whatever it is because it's, it's all an act, not an act because that's the wrong word, but it's all a you. So it's a it is a persona, I guess. But at the same you time, just, you're, you're aware that the yeah, I'm, I'm more aware. Persona is yeah. the wrong term because I guess persona means because I, I it's feel fake. like it's yeah, not yeah, fake. Yeah, yeah. It's not fake, but I it's get not, what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just showing them your best side. Yeah. Just, just, just yeah. one last thing for me before you, if you, these two want to close and say anything else. Like in life in general, never, especially if, if you judge some someone based on social, uh, based off from social media or if they do videos or podcasts or whatever. Yeah, mm. never be that guy or that girl that makes an assumption about someone purely based on their you know their videos online yeah, like you never know, i could i could see J jad's timeline and think oh my man's singing and he's got bare girls in his mentions and like oh marshall is a good looking guy and he's taking selfies and he's doing all this jad Anucci stuff and all this stuff but reality is that same night you could you could be fucking crazy yeah, 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 yeah. that's what i'm saying you could you could be <laughs> yeah. crying in, in your bed and i would never yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. so true. i would say take social media with a like with a pinch mm. of salt in it yeah man that's true man <laughs>